a uh, well, bias checking in here. So I watched season one of Fallout and it was dope to see all the connections it had to the games. And after watching this, I'm thinking about giving Fallout 76 a playthrough. Each character's attire and design accompanied with the show's retro futuristic wasteland setting really looked authentic. The fact that they kept bottle caps as the currency was jokes. Also, all the different types of weapons, armor, and medical devices lined up with the video game, but there were a few major differences in the story. The series is set in LA in Southern Cali, which is the location of the original Fallout game. In the first episode, Lucy's introduction is similar to the characters you play in the game and the way she pitches her skills to the authorities in the vault is similar to how you pick your character's skills and attributes at the start of each Fallout game, like their strength, intelligence, and endurance. In the first episode, raiders infiltrate the vault and abduct Lucy's pops, so she journeys out to the wasteland to find him. This blends the events of Fallout 3 and 4 together. In Fallout 3, your character grows up in the safety of a vault, then journeys out to the savage outside world to search for their father. And in Fallout 4, your character leaves the vault to search for their kidnapped son after raiders hit it up. Fallout's wastelands are filled with factions and raiders constantly at battle for turf, power, and technology. In Season 1, the New California Republic and the Brotherhood are the two factions introduced. In the Brotherhood, they even have a loyal companion for their knights that carries around their equipment. This is similar to the video games where you can have a companion carry extra stuff that you don't have room for. vault plays a way darker role in the series than in the games. While they were actively advertising their vaults as a way to save humanity from a possible nuclear event, it's revealed that they were the ones behind the nuclear apocalypse and they set it off to eliminate their competition so that they could rebuild society their way. The shady government organization known as the Enclave in the games that funds them must have been the group of people that they offered their vaults to perform experiments on the dwellers. In the games, vault -Tec had nothing to do with dropping bombs on society. The post-nuclear apocalypse was caused by a nuclear war between China and the USA in the games. Another thing I noticed is that Lucy was constantly making decisions and choices that benefited the people she encountered, even if it wasn't in her best interest, like when she saved the ghoul and when she asked Maximus to give back Vault 4 their power source. And in the video game, you're usually given at certain points the option to kill or save someone you come across. And you can also make selfish decisions that impacts different communities and how the NPCs treat you. And I'm sure as the series progresses, you will see Lucy make more harsh choices as she deals with the harsh wasteland. Fallout's most thrilling aspect has got to be all the mutated creatures and flesh-eating ghouls you battle throughout the wasteland. So far in the series, we've seen feral ghouls, which are basically zombies, and mutant wildlife. New Vegas was also highlighted during the season finale. At the end, Lucy's pops dipped LA for a nearby city in the middle of the desert. 
that city is definitely New Vegas. So in season two, Lucy, the ghoul, and Maximus will definitely pursue her pops there. Overall, this series was well put together. It featured a lot of interesting advanced tech from the games too, like the robots and cryopods designed to keep vault tech employees alive for centuries. The games were fun to play and this was fun to watch. It was action packed with some light humor. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it three mics. I hope they explore more vaults in season two. Y'all let me know what you thought about Fallout in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me by hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to get up with y'all in the next video. All right? <laughs> All at me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.